It's not even Christmas yet, and local post offices are badly backed up. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, the snow is still lightly falling on one of the snowiest mornings of the season so far. Keystone reports 10 inches overnight. That's the most in the state today. Loveland got 9 inches, a basin 7 inches. Copper Snow Stake shows 6 inches. They open to the public next Monday, November 30th. And Breckenridge was on the low end with 4 inches. That's more than 100 local servers, cooks, and restaurant owners on Main Street Breckenridge yesterday, protesting a countywide dining room shutdown. Matt Spaulding from Uptown on Main in Frisco. We had to cut back everyone's hours 80%. I mean, we had to go down to two servers per shift, and that might be even too much. He said the ban is short-sighted, putting stress on thousands of local workers and throngs of incoming tourists. Yes, we're doing outdoor dining, but... <laughs> We live in the Rockies, man. It's it's cold. No one wants to sit outside. You can put as many heaters outside as you want. People don't want to eat outside. In-person dining is banned countywide, most likely through mid-December at least. It's the same in 19 other counties, including Route, Clear Creek, and Denver. The lines are long at local post offices, up to a half-hour wait in Frisco yesterday afternoon, where Robert was waiting patiently with 20 others. Just losing packages and then the constant long lines. Long lines right now are the side effect of staffing shortages and shorter hours for package pickup, just 11 to 4 p.m. in Frisco. One year after suing small businesses for using the word backcountry, resulting in a widespread boycott, backcountry.com is making good a mea culpa. The Colorado Sun reports the Utah retailer is now supporting at least a dozen businesses it targeted in those lawsuits, including backcountry babes. The Avalanche Program for Women is putting 10 students through multi-year training thanks to thousands in scholarship money from backcountry.com. A Colorado ranch used to hawk cigarettes and beer sold this month for $17 million, more than double its value in 2007. The Last Dollar Ranch on 700 acres outside of Telluride has been featured in Marlboro and Budweiser ads. It's got a home there dating to the 1940s and coveted views of the Sneffels Range with neighbors like Ralph Lauren. The latest now on coronavirus and testing backlog. Summit has four COVID testing sites but not all are created equal. We are seeing a longer turnaround time for test results at the Silverthorne site. That was Julie Souter with the county. The state site in Silverthorne uses a lab in North Carolina up to four days away for results. Others use labs in Colorado, 24 to 48 hours. Like the care clinic, the Centura testing facility, we're seeing probably our fastest turnaround times consistently at the Vail Health site. Last Friday alone, nearly 800 people got tested countywide. Local capacity is 1,000 tests per day. Summit County's latest infection rate is 1,101 per 100,000 people, with a positive test rate of 8.7 percent, below high risk for the first time in a month. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency, a short and strange football season is winding down for the Summit Tigers, with one more game this coming Saturday against Bennett High School away. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.